Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 13th of 2022 well, it is titled Milky Way over Devil's Tower. So what do we see here? Well, out in the background here, we see Devil's Tower, which is a great rock formation that we see. And one of the things we think this might actually be is uh, some lava that was part of a volcano long ago. So as the as the lava was pushed up from deep inside the earth, and there was more earth around at this time. So this would have been completely covered at the time by the ground. And then the softer rock around has now worn down, leaving this this tube of lava still standing there. So it's a much denser rock and harder to eat away at by the weathering processes of wind and snow and ice that might wear it out over time. So that's one possibility that this could actually be part of a volcano that never actually erupted that the material pushed itself up through the uh, soil at the time. And since the soil has worn down by nearly 200 meters over the years. Now up above in the sky, we do see our Milky Way and that is our galaxy as we see it from within. Our galaxy is a spiral galaxy, but you can't see the spiral structure when we look at it from inside. And we can what we can see are some of the star clouds, brighter areas there, and some of the dark dust clouds that are present around. So the dark dusty areas are areas of excess material, where there is more material that blocks out the light from behind it. The uh, uh, the lighter areas are regions of less dust and we're seeing through and seeing more and more stars there. But in reality, even those dark areas have many more stars behind them. Simply their light is completely blocked out by that dust. Now we also see some of the pink star forming regions, some of the pink emission nebulae that are present as well. And these occur when stars have formed recently as the stars form, they uh, emit the most massive stars will emit ultraviolet radiation, which ionizes or strips electrons off of hydrogen gas, which then recombine and as it does, hydrogen gives off a distinct red glow. And we see that in these various star forming regions associated with the plane of our Milky Way galaxy. So here we get to see our galaxy off in the distance and Devil's Tower in the foreground. So that was our picture of the day for April 13th of 2022. It was titled Milky Way over Devil's Tower. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.